The goal for this weekend is to read for 24 hours. Not consecutively, not like a 24 hour readathon. It's just like attempt to read for 24 hours and see how much I like actually can do because a lot of the time I end up doing so many other things over the weekend instead of reading. But this weekend I really don't have a lot to do. So I wanna make sure that I am focusing my time which equates to about eight hours a day and it's already three you do the math like that just doesn't that's not working for today so um i'm a little bit behind today but hopefully tomorrow i can catch up um yeah so i just i don't have anything planned for tomorrow so hopefully that works um i did get my nails in today though i got some like fall nails i don't know if y'all can see them very well because yeah there you go i got some fall nails they're cute i did like a little shellac i did not do like acrylics or anything except for my thumb that one's a fake nail because this one broke i was growing them out and then this one broke and i was really mad so i got one fake nail and the rest are real um but yeah i don't know i felt like doing my nails so i was like eh, okay we'll do them for fall because that's a moment let's talk about the tbr this weekend i really really want to focus on books that i have recently acquired because i've bought in so many books in the past like month that i really need to read them um and a lot of the times all my books my new books will just sit there so i've got i've got a lot of options guys so i've got i've got so so many options we're just gonna like this is the quickest haul i think i've ever done like yes I'm just gonna show y'all this is how i'm gonna do my hauls in the future is just show you them i have a feeling that's not even all of them oh no there's this one too come here so lots of lots of books to choose from i like i said i feel like this isn't even all of them um but this is like a majority of them is i <laughs> i put them over here so i'm kind of trying to figure out like what types of books i want to read i kind of want to read like one fantasy um and i'm kind of thinking this one because it's a ya it's i feel like it'll probably be a quick read it's like 400 pages not too much of a commitment so i think light lark will probably go on my tbr babble definitely is not so that's not happening um i feel like this one's kind of long um i think i want to read love on the brain this weekend because this one came out and i still haven't read it and i loved the love hypothesis so i think that this one would be a really good one to read this weekend because i feel like it'll be quick and easy to get through um and then i have the dead romantics that one's also super on the top of my tbr um but yeah, I have quite a few to choose from. So to be clear, my goal is not to read as many books as I can or to finish a bunch of books or anything like that. My goal really is just to read or attempt to read because I kind of feel like it might not happen, but attempt to read for 24 hours and time it throughout the weekend. Um, I have Monday off because it's Labor Day, so I feel like it's a good weekend to do this because I don't think I could ever do that in two days. I just don't think that I have the ability to focus for that long anymore as I've gotten older. My just like I just can't do that anymore. I used to be able to do that whenever I could sit there and read a book in a day, but I have not done that in years, so that's not happening. I am going to get started here in a bit. I do want to do my homework assignment first because I do have one assignment that I have to do this weekend. Boo. Um, that sucks. <laughs>
about a little over an hour reading and I've made some progress in Light Lark. Um, this is the one I decided to start first because I haven't really read a fantasy in quite a bit. Um, it, it's been a while lately. I also haven't read a YA fantasy in so long, but this one's really interesting so far. Um, so I'm on page 44. Um, I've made okay progress for it just being the first hour but this one is about this I guess kingdom I would say um that has a curse on it and this kingdom is split into like smaller kingdoms it's really confusing how that works because there is a king and then each like little district has their own royalty as well, I guess. So each district, I don't even, I don't want to call it a district because that's a little too close to Hunger Games. Each kingdom has their own curse and every 100 years, this thing called the Centennial happens and they go to Lightlark, which is kind of like the mainland and try to break the curse. Um, so our main character, the curse on her land is that anyone that they fall in love with dies i think they also have to like eat hearts or something funky like that i'm really liking it it really kind of like got straight into everything happening which i do like when these types of books do that they just kind of put the character into it and you're kind of finding things out as you go but so far i'm really interested to learn more about the other characters definitely the king and of course the ruler of nightshade which totally my type is there going to be a love triangle don't know but yeah i'm liking it so far and i'm going to continue reading this one tonight um uh, right now i do have to take the doggies out because it is about to rain and uh i don't want to have to take them out in the rain they hate walking in the rain um especially race he will not go potty if the ground is wet he's a little dork um but yeah so i'm gonna do that real quick and then i will come back and read i think i'm gonna switch areas because it's not really that comfortable reading <laughs> at the table for an extended amount of time so i might move to the couch or the little reading pillow in the bedroom not sure but i am gonna move gonna change the scenery but yeah also i really love this barnes and noble edition this is the barnes and noble edition if you're interested um it has the hard cut like the the hard cover is an exclusive i'm pretty sure and it's just like so pretty i love it i think that's the only exclusive thing about this is just that but i like it because it still looks like the book when i take the dust jacket off it's great um so it's not just like a plain <laughs> black book but yeah so that's the plan for tonight i'm gonna go i'm gonna go walk the dogs before the rain comes but i'm really excited that it's gonna rain tonight i'm so excited because i found some wine <laughs> like we have a bunch of wine but i didn't know we had a bottle of this this is my favorite wine it tastes like uh like grape juice and it's great <laughs> um so if you are looking to get into wine, this is a great start because it is super sweet. Um, so I'm gonna pop this in the freezer so that I can get it chilled because I prefer my uh, wine cold. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have some of this tonight while I read. It did indeed start raining while I took the dogs out. So I have to take them out again later, which sucks. But at least they, you know, what number one, later we're just gonna have to let them out again to go number two it sucks but bryce went because bryce goes quick the other dogs not so much they take for freaking ever but yeah so i'm gonna make i'm gonna put this in and then read a little bit more of light lark and then i have to cook dinner which sucks i really don't want to but what can you do it's raining a little bit fun I'm gonna go uh, sit by the window.
this is definitely going to be harder than I, I thought. <laughs> um, that's where I'm at. I'm almost at three hours, so two hours and 40-ish minutes um, of reading. And it's... <laughs> It's already almost eight and I gotta go cook dinner. So I'm taking a break. Um I've been reading. Uh I'm almost a hundred pages in and still really enjoying this. Um so yeah, I need to figure out what I'm doing for dinner and then I'm I'll read some more tonight. But I really I I don't see myself hitting eight hours today. I just don't think that's possible because I don't even think there are well no that's that's a lie there there are indeed four more no there's not enough hours because I would need five hours and 20 minutes <laughs> and today ends in four hours and 20 minutes so that's not gonna work but I'll get like I'll get some good reading done I'm really hoping that I can get to the halfway point in this book tonight like that is my ultimate goal um because that'll mean I've been reading for quite a bit um and then tomorrow I'll start early in the morning with reading and that'll kind of be how it goes so I'm not gonna update y'all for the rest of the night I'll update y'all in the morning all my progress but for tonight I'm just gonna cook and then um, I'll get back to reading and we'll see how it goes tomorrow though I really do think that tomorrow is gonna be a more successful day with like reading for a longer period of time and I think if I like keep going and actually like read for 24 hours I will definitely finish this book because um, it's a pretty quick read well not like super fast because I'm still like I'm a slow reader but it's like easy to get through and I'm enjoying my time so it's it's not I feel like this was a good choice it was a really good choice for doing this so I'm gonna go eat I'm gonna go make some pasta okay so remember how I said I wanted to read for 24 hours this weekend yeah I don't think that's gonna happen but um <laughs> update time so it is noon already i'm sorry my hair is like huge right now i just like styled it i'm trying to do the curly girl hair method with like the diffuser and it looks really huge on camera so that's fun um yeah curls what can you do anyway so it is noon the next day and i am only at four hours <laughs> Uh, me and my boyfriend had to clean this morning we slept in a little bit longer than we wanted to and then we had like a power clean moment because our apartment was a disaster especially the kitchen um so we really needed to just tackle that so I'm at like literally right at four hours so I've got a lot of reading to do today um, but I am 137 pages into light lark um so i'm gonna continue reading this right now um i don't really have anything else to do during the day since we did our cleaning this morning um so i should be able to dedicate some good time unless i decide to go fall decor shopping which is totally a possibility because it's just calling me we hung the one fall like little art that we had this morning and now i really want to go fall decor shopping especially because i lit my pumpkin patch candle yesterday and i'm just getting fall vibes today especially because it was a little cooler this morning because it rained last night so we had a little bit of a cool morning i'm sure it's going to be um hot already i haven't gone outside again but anyway so hopefully i actually dedicate time to reading today i have a feeling i'm gonna hit like 12 hours i think at this point i'm just shooting to finish this book <laughs> um but yeah it's getting really interesting so the guy the nightshade guy from the nightshade kingdom in this book 
he is like Reese. He is exactly, he's just Reese. So he just reminds me so much of Reese, like his powers, his demeanor, just the way he is. Very mysterious, dark, and brooding. He reminds me of freaking Reesan from Akatar. So, not mad about it. I like him. I'm interested in him. I definitely want to know more about the king. We still really haven't gotten a lot of interaction with the king. I want to know what is up with him. Like, it. Who's. I don't know. I don't know. There's also some, like. A little bit of like I don't know kind of like angstiness between this girl and the the nightshade dude um and I'm kind of here for it I kind of wish this was like a little bit of an adult book or like more because it's definitely like some of the dialogue is like uh I see what I see what you doing <laughs> So, I, I like when there's like that little bit of dialogue that isn't like, it's very innuendo-y and I'm here for it. Um, but I know this is, I'm pretty sure it's a young adult book, so I don't think it's going to probably go past like cheeky innuendos and just like sexual tension and banter. It's probably all we're going to get, but I love that kind of stuff, so I'm here for it. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it. I'm gonna continue on and see what's gonna happen um because things are about to go down i feel like we're about to figure out kind of like what is going on in one of the other kingdoms i kind of have a feeling they're like planning some kind of i don't know thing that can't be good i feel like they're just gonna like try to take over the world or something i am i am on the struggle bus today i had to get a snack so I went and I got a McFlurry because why not? Mm. Hold up. I also pick up the mail while I should be reading and you know, I need all the distractions I can get. I stocked up on pre-workout, like I stocked up. I ran out of my normal pre-workout Oh jeez, a while ago and they went out of stock so I wasn't able to get it. So I had to try other pre-workouts and just use other things and like everything that I was trying just gave me really bad anxiety. Which this one is like, um, the girl who made this, she struggles with anxiety and things like that. So she um, made a pre-workout that did not um, give you anxiety. Um, I did like Alani New. That one was really good. Um, that one did not, I don't think it gave me bad anxiety. It did give me anxiety, but it wasn't bad. I think it more just messed with my stomach. Like, my stomach could not handle the Alani New. And then I tried other ones, and they just, I can't. I can't do it. So, I sucked up on pre-workout for the next... I'm good for four months. I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not running out of the pre-workout that I like. So I got two flavors. I got the berry pomegranate, bam. And then my favorite is fruit punch. Um, these ones are really good. I love these flavors. So I got two of each um, so that I would be good for <laughs> quite a bit. And then I also got a free um, hair, skin and nails gummy vitamin which cool trying to grow out my nails so that works trying to grow my hair back because i just cut it off and that's how it works i cut it off and then i'm like okay it's time to grow it back um so i'm stocked up for all of my workouts for the rest of the year i'm really excited um so yeah i'm just taking a little bit of a break i was getting really tired um which is kind of like not surprising whenever i read for long periods of time and in such comfy places i get really tired and it's kind of like a more gloomy day we had some rain yesterday so my allergies are kind of bad so all that i was starting to fall asleep and i would prefer to just take a break than lose two hours to a nap so i got up i moved about i went out got a snack 
Um, so I'm just going to take a bitty break and then I will get back to reading. My goal at this point is to hit like eight hours tonight. I think that's doable. Um, I really don't see myself hitting 24 hours at this point. Uh, unfortunately, I just kind of, I don't know. I didn't plan very well for this. I would love to do this again at some point, maybe next year, whenever I don't have school as a distraction and work as a distraction um or as much as much of a distraction because i would have loved to be able to like start this on friday but i was working on friday so um yeah so i think i want to do this again at some point to see if i can like keep improving like the time i feel like it's like a good like focus type challenge because my thing is i struggle a lot with just sitting there and reading and putting in that effort of like okay i'm just gonna sit here for a day and read it's very hard for me to do because i always feel like i have other things to do um but i really am making an effort to like stay home and read as much as i can because like i'm trying to get that timer to consistently be going so i feel like it's like a good um motivator for me for this weekend for reading which is exactly what i needed i'm not going to be upset if i don't hit 24 hours like i said at this point i really don't think it's going to happen um but like the closest the closer i can get to 24 hours i think i'm going to be like happier and i'm just going to still try to get as close to 24 as i can and maybe the next time I do this, I can try to beat that time and that kind of be the next challenge. So yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy my little bitty break with my little bitty snack and then get back to reading. I did pass the halfway point in the book, so I'm really excited. It's really interesting also timing this and seeing how long it's taking me to read. I'm averaging like 35-ish pages per hour but I do want to work on increasing my reading speed I think that's one goal I have like for next year is to just like pick up the pace when reading because I used to read a lot faster but now I just don't what are y'all doing are we having like a, a rumble like rock down and smash down can y'all not look like y'all are about to wrestle each other and like fight Jesus they were like circling each other like they were about to like throw down um anyway i'm gonna go it is monday and i just finished light lark so as far as like timing i am 10 hours and 45 minutes on the clock for reading so i finished this book in right about 11 hours um and yeah i really enjoyed this book this book was I, I didn't really have expectations going into this book i know this was like one that has been hyped on tiktok but i like i'm not on tiktok i don't like i don't i'm, I'm not on tiktok <laughs> so i don't know what's hyped on tiktok but i really just enjoyed this one this one was like a really fun book it was very fast paced but not too fast i feel like i loved the way that this book was paced and everything that happened and the time each thing like within the book took absolutely loved it i was really intrigued by the characters um like i really liked the main character she was strong she was a badass and i always loved that in a main character but some of like the side characters that she was interacting with i they were just so interesting and i wanted to know more about them there was so much mystery behind each and every character because i feel like the whole time throughout this book i was waiting for someone to betray her and i didn't know who it was going to be there were so many people like obviously that like out of the other rulers because there were six of them total it could have been any of the other rulers that could have just really turned on her and been the bad person um or like the villain so it was just like i was always wondering okay like can i trust what this person is saying or not and it was just like crazy so i really enjoyed this book the way that it ended the ending it was so good um but yeah i really enjoyed my time reading this one i'm definitely i 
hope that this is a series. I'm pretty sure it's a series. I'm looking forward to continuing on in it. Um, it was just, it was fun. It was kind of nice getting back into YA fantasy and it was, this was good. So if you're looking for like, just like a fast paced YA fantasy that you can just like enjoy everything that's happening, like highly recommend. So while I'm probably not going to read for 24 hours because it is already Monday, it it's three o'clock. There's no way I'm gonna read. Like I, there's not even 12 hours left in the day to read. Uh, so that's not gonna happen, but I feel like finishing a book is an accomplishment in itself for this weekend because I really did take the time to focus on reading it and sitting down as much as I could. And I'm, I'm glad I picked this one up. So I am going to continue reading to see how much I can get done. My goal, I think, is I definitely want to hit like 12 hours of reading at least. So that's only an hour and 15 minutes left. So. I think if I can get a little bit more than that, that would be great. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the love, not the love hypothesis, the <laughs> love on the brain by Allie Hazelwood. I feel like this one will probably be a quick read. Um, so, this is the one I'm going to pick up next. I might also, for a little bit, try to read some of the monster romance that I'm currently reading for another vlog. Um, I won't really talk about that one in this vlog because I, I'm doing a separate vlog for that book. Um, so I'm gonna try to read a little bit of this one and then that other one, it's an ebook. So I'll be reading it on my iPad. But yeah, that is gonna be my plan for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go just eat. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then get back to reading. So I'm excited. That was such a good book. Here for it. I'm here for everything that's happening. Love triangle commence. <laughs> Why does my hair look like one of those like old timey royal hairstyles with a little like floof down? Anyway, my hair looks ridiculous. Um, because yeah, it's a little ridiculous today. So, um, I'm here to wrap up this vlog. It is actually the next day. It's Tuesday. Um, I did not get a chance to wrap the vlog last night because I was reading kind of late and then I went straight to bed. So let's wrap it up. Let's see how I did. Um, obviously I failed. <laughs> like, but it doesn't feel like I failed because I feel like I read for like a good amount of time for the weekend considering I had other things to do. It's probably the longest I've read during the weekend in a while. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel like very accomplished even though I didn't meet the initial goal that I wanted to. Reading for 24 hours in a weekend was kind of like far-fetched. Um, especially with like school and just like adulting in general. Um, sucks. <laughs> but I ended at 12 hours and 32, 33-ish minutes. Um, which I, my goal as the weekend progressed was to get to 12 hours and I did and I'm really excited about that. Um, so I did start the love hypothesis last night. Um, I didn't really read any more of my monster romance like I thought I would, um, because I just was enjoying this one a lot. I didn't really read as much as I wanted to yesterday because I ended up needing to edit some videos. I ended up doing that yesterday too and obviously that takes up some time. So. It's not like I read a bunch yesterday. I think I, after I updated you, I maybe read like another two hours throughout the day. Um, but yeah, so I am on page 78. I love Allie Hazelwood. I think Allie Hazelwood is just gonna be a favorite author of mine. I love her stories. I love her characters, just like, I get so like squealy whenever I read her books. I did the same thing for Love Hypothesis. I just like fall head over heels and I'm like, yes, please give it all to me. Um, it's just like so cute and angsty and tension, sexual tension and just all of that fun stuff. It's like, you know that this guy 
is just in love with her, like head over heels in love with her and she doesn't know and it's just like, I love it so much. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. I honestly wish that I would have been able to finish this one in this vlog because this one actually is just gonna be floating in like free space because I don't really have this one attached to another vlog. So y'all are not gonna know my thoughts on it, um, which is interesting. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but I, I will attempt to update y'all in one of like my future vlogs, how I end up feeling about this. But I really do think that this is gonna be like a favorite book of mine, a favorite one of the year. I just love Allie Hazelwood. I love her writing. It's just so fun. It's like the perfect rom-com that just like ugh, sets my soul on fire. <laughs> I really enjoyed both of the books that I ended up reading, reading over the weekend. Like such good books um and it has put me in the biggest reading mood which is perfect because now not only am i like you know wanting to continue with like my romances and stuff but i really want to pick up another fantasy um i haven't picked up fantasy in a while so the fact that i'm like wanting to get back into that is really exciting especially for like the fall and winter season i love reading fantasy in fall and winter um so i think i just need to have like a good balance of things going forward of you know different genres that just kind of give me a break from fantasy because sometimes fantasy reading it back to back can be a lot it's just sometimes i need like an easy book to get through that is just gonna be super chill super fun quick read and I think that like I need to start doing that a lot more. That's it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!